Was Kate Middleton's next tier a moment just revealed? Why she may sport a sparkler this fall? Greetings from Royal Family Led My Channel. Kate Middleton may soon be making a tiara for a special event. King Charles and Queen Camilla will host South Korean President Yoon Suk Yeol on a state visit to the UK in November, Buckingham Palace said early on Tuesday. Although the date and other information have not been made public, it is expected that the formal trip will involve a state banquet, which may require Tara wear. The statement read, His Majesty, the King has extended an invitation to the President of the Republic of Korea, His Excellency Yoon Suk Yeol, to make a state visit to the United Kingdom in November. He will be joined by Mrs. Kim Kion Hee. The state visit will be hosted by the King and Queen at Buckingham Palace. The tip from Buckingham Palace and prior experience suggests that the future trip will feature a state banquet. State visits traditionally start with a formal welcome from the king and other royal family members at Horse Guards Parade, according to the royal family's website, before proceeding to the palace in a carriage parade with a military escort and having a magnificent meal that night, guests are then asked to view a guard of honor. The guests will typically be hosted at a state banquet, a very opulent formal event held in the Buckingham Palace Ballroom on the evening of the arrival day. According to the royal family's website, approximately 150 visitors are often invited based on their cultural, diplomatic, or economic ties to the country being hosted. The historical occasions call for white tie attire, with tiaras required for the female royals present. During the royal banquet of the first official visit of King Charles' reign in November 2022, which welcomed South African President Cyril Ramaphosa to the UK, Princess Kate and Queen Camilla wore sparklers. Kate, 41, sparkled in the Belgian sapphire tiara, which belonged to her late mother-in-law Queen Elizabeth, while Queen Camilla donned the Queen Mary's lovers not Tara. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel. Due to the COVID pandemic, it was also Kate and Camilla's first time wearing tiaras in public in three years. The British royal family has not welcomed a state visit since former U.S. President Donald Trump visited the U.K. in 2019. Before Queen Elizabeth passed away peacefully on September 8, a royal source confirmed that Ramaphosa's three-day visit was scheduled. In December 2022, the Princess of Wales and Queen Camilla once more sparkled in headpieces for the diplomatic court's event at Buckingham Palace. While Camilla had a royal repeat in the Belgian sapphire tiara, Kate donned the lotus flower tiara. Princess Kate broke with tradition by forgoing a tiara in favor of a silver and crystal flower headdress by Jess Collett x Alexander McQueen on the day of Queen Camilla's coronation on May 6. Princess Charlotte, her eight-year-old daughter, strikingly resembled her mother. Princess Kate most recently donned a tiara to the luncheon that followed the royal wedding of Crown Prince Hussein and Princess Rajwa of Jordan in June. Kate changed into her second costume of the day, a glistening pink Jenny Packham gown accessorized with the Greville chandelier earrings and the Queen Mary's lover's knot tiara worn with her hair down. In addition to being a magnificent occasion, Kate also crossed off a milestone, it was the first time she had ever worn a tiara outside of the UK. It's expected that Princess Kate and Prince William will assist in hosting Yoon and his wife, First Lady Kim Kion Hee, when they pay a state visit in November. Following the passing of Queen Elizabeth and the accession of King Charles in September, the couple has assumed more prestigious royal positions as the Prince and Princess of Wales. When Ramaphosa paid a state visit to the United Kingdom last year, they were the ones to greet him. Yoon's trip was announced shortly after King Charles, 74, and Queen Camilla, 76, returned from a state visit to France last week, visiting Paris and Bordeaux on a trip that had to be postponed from March owing to nationwide protests over pensions. A lavish state meal was held during the three-day visit from September 20 to September 22 at the Palace of Versailles, the pinnacle of royal settings. On the first night of their journey, the king and queen spent time with Brigitte Macron, the wife of French President Emmanuel Macron, at the storied Versailles estate outside of Paris. For the evening occasion, Queen Camilla opted out of wearing a tiara and shone in a necklace and bracelet from the King George VI Victorian suite.